today I'd like to welcome our mayor, Jack Moore, base commander Bill Moore, um, the Pembroke Public Library, and uh, from Home Forest Park, um, we'd like to thank the City of Pembroke for its commitment to this project. The Pembroke Public Library promotes, promotes and includes citizens in the projects, in its daily routine, and all the people who made this, who made this project possible. That song is kind of hard to go follow. Um, as we celebrate our, our 11th anniversary for Home Park's Park, what a fitting tribute to the military. Once again, Randy has not ceased to amaze us. With his artistic mind, his generous soul, this project started with a thought that took on a life of its own. With no budget, it managed to reach 240 plus businesses, schools, and uh, residences. Randy and Home Forest Park and the citizens of Pembroke just want to let our troops know that we are here for them. We hope that when this book, the Black Book, I've always heard of a live Black Book, but this is a <laughs> very large Black Book. We hope that when it reaches Afghanistan, it puts a smile on their faces, puts a twinge in their hearts, and lets them know that they are loved and supported. From Home Forest Park, we wanted to take this time to thank Randy Chester for his commitment to the military and their families, and for the love of this city, Pamela. Thank you. You want me to talk to you about the talk? <laughs> It's not a lot of just big writing. <laughs> the idea for the scrapbook from Pembroke to our troops came to me like a spark, a whisper in my ear. I've always loved books, even though I don't read so good or spell that well. When I approached Jane Purvis with the idea, she gave her gallery as a drop-off and her email address. Turbo Graphics donated the pages and the laminating at cost. That's cheap. <laughs> um, Speed Pro, Louise Hermit offered to remake the cover and the binding of the book. The other one was cardboard and broke, so they made it better. And Mayor Ed Jackano, offered to laminate the first 50 pages. Mrs. Purvis called all the churches. Everyone I approached, the response was so, was really good. <laughs> the Pembroke Public Library would be the place for our book. Margaret Mao, the head librarian, said yes. Um, at the mall, for two days, I collected a whole bunch of messages. I never censored anything, and every one of them messages are really good. The Sisters of St. Joseph's were the first to respond to the request. Messages came from Peru, written in Peruvian, from all the different cultures in Pembroke. So there's Spanish, there's um, stuff that Cardi wrote from India, there's a whole lot. Um, and care for, or caressing care in Cobden, called and asked to participate. And I said yes. The, Qu the Quebec side um, gave, like, wrote supporting messages. All the businesses, the groups, the churches, the schools that were approached thought it was wonderful, and they all participated. This spark, that one, has become a flame burning in our hearts, that's all of you guys, our hearts for our servicemen and women on land, on sea, and in the air. Thank you and God bless. So it's not my scrapbook, it's you guys' scrapbook. I just got to doing it. 